Russell Rudell. Uh, Bob Moranis. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Lord. My name is Bob Moranis. Uh, those of you that might know me or not know me, that I was a city commission at High Springs from 2011. 2014, some of the biggest issues we faced then and before then was the sewer system. Uh, I have sent you emails, or I should have gotten them all an email, that talked about the sewer system and talked about my concerns. There was an, a video in those emails, and I hope you all took the time to watch it. It talked about the expansion of the sewer field in High Springs. Sinkholes out there. I know those sinkholes out there because for a lot of time while I was city commissioner, I volunteered to cut the grass out of that spray field. And I saw some of them are 40, 50, and 70 feet deep. And I don't know what's happening to those spray fields. So when we're going to expand, what are we doing? When we talk about the hot night project out there in the wetlands, that that water hole on that field, I don't believe so. But I'm here today to really talk to you about one, the chicken or the egg with the expansion that you started to approve out there in High Springs and public input. Amendment one was passed in 2014. Uh, there was many legislators asked about Amendment One, and the biggest thing that Keith Perry and Radley said is. We want robust discussions and public input. And that's what I think is my goal today, is to be here and start that process so the public can get some more input on to what's going to happen in High Springs. And first of all, I'm not here to say septic tanks shouldn't be replaced. Certainly should. We've discovered that over my years. Years ago, I said, leave them on one acre. Don't worry about it. But I'm learning that maybe I was wrong. Now we're talking about funding. I opposed back then the funding for the sewer system because it was to borrow $10 million from the USDA to do more funding and more expansion. And well, guess what? We turned that down, and today the funding is funded. I said it would come one day. It is. I said technology. Um, in, the, in the email I sent you, here's the video. In the email I sent you was a capacity report. I referenced page 16, two paragraphs. <coughs> that capacity report was from 2013, and it had a major concern if we go ahead with the, the segments of the land that we stopped years ago. That capacity report, I believe, showed 96,000 gallons left in capacity. The previous capacity report, which I just found last night that was done in 2010, said if we add certain subdivisions, we will have 56,000 gallons left. So I'm not sure which one's right, and I'm not sure what we did. My concern, and I'm going to try and cut this a little short for you, and you the going to do that I do. Look at that capacity report, and before you start signing on a dotted line to approve funding to high springs for anything, and I'm so happy to see the funding there, look at doing the expansion of the plant first, not adding 300 homes in two subsections of high springs. You're going to run that capacity right there. Because now what you're doing is running into the limit, and high springs is in a growth pattern right now. All of you who have driven 441 know we're going to be on the other side. Growth is coming from the other side of 441. And that's going to be high springs. Now, we have another <coughs> public or something else that wants to come out of the 
next two to three years, we don't have the capacity that they're talking about going to of 750,000 gallons, we got to turn it away. We got to turn that revenue away. My whole concern today is do the expansion first. Have the engineers, it's a public input in High Springs, which hasn't happened in 12 months. There's been not one public meeting to discuss the money you approved for High Springs in the last 12 months. There's not be one Thursday, but that's probably the last Thursday month. So think about what you're funding. Take a step back. Maybe tell High Springs, tell those engineers, let's get the capacity report right. Find out what's going to happen. Expand the plan. Eliminate the septic systems, and then the thing that they're not looking at is those grinder pumps that are in there. Why not do something to get rid of all those grinder pumps? <coughs> there's going to be a drain on high springs, financial drain for the years to come. Um, so I think I've made my point, for Chair. Ask this question of high springs. Ask this question of yourself. Two questions. If they're concerned about capacity, and if anybody at High Springs says yes, you need to ask why. They know that I went out and take a step back. When I was a commissioner, we were told in that first capacity report in 2010, we're at going to be at 85% capacity in a year or two. That means we have to have a plan. Well, that's one of the reasons I opposed the expansion. So ask that question. If they're concerned about capacity, and the answer is yes, well, they better tell you why. And then ask this question. Will High Springs be able to handle additional subdivisions and commercial growth on 441 in the next five years if we don't address expansion now? And if the answer is no, then you need to say, what are we going to do? So I thank you all for giving me the time. I hope you look at that video that talks about the straight field and the sinkholes out of straight field. I have a real concern about just expanding that plant with the way we're talking about it with the Deadlands project. I don't know that it's going to work. But, um, I leave you with that. Questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them. Steve has my contact information. Come up with a question later. Have Mr. Menace contact me, and I will say this. I am available. I have records going back to 2009 on this whole project. I guarantee you that I'm a person who knows more than anything about the straight fields, about the growth, and about anything else. Thank you. And I will follow up on this and see exactly where we stand. I suspect this was a member of my recollection was a project that was brought to us from High Springs. So I would like to thank our engineers have, have done you know due diligence about this, but we'll, we'll follow up. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, I was going to say we actually have and you're exactly right, this is a project in the Men High Spring, one of our main communities that's interested in investing their own skin and, and capital.